Hi, this is Paul on the Road, and I'm Paul. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a cast iron pan into a non-stick pan. And I've done it with this. This is my go-to pan right now, and I did the, uh, the process that I'm going to show you to this pan oh, uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I know you probably can't see it on the video, but most cast iron pans, in fact, all cast iron pans, have a kind of a, a sandy finish, a rough, pebbly finish. And, and what I'm going to do is get rid of that. I'm going to make it smooth, and then I'm going to treat it in the oven with, with oil. And over time, it gets blacker and blacker. And, and all I do to clean this thing is, uh, while it's still hot, I dump a little water into it and scrape it with a, uh, with a, uh, like a metal spatula, and then just wipe it out. Um, so, what you'll need to do this with is a, a grinder with a, with a flap wheel and a new pan, or any, any cast iron pan. You can do it with a new pan or an old pan, doesn't matter. Um, and you can buy them already machined smooth, but I think a pan, this is a 10 inch, and I think a 10 inch pan from the company that sells them that way is like $70 or $80 or something like that. I paid $7 at Ross for this, for this little thing. And uh, the flap wheel is, well, you will need a grinder, but, but <laughs> you know, power tools, what can I say? So let's get started. And you'll want to wear gloves because, uh, of course, you're not going to put your hand on this, but if you, if you accidentally nicked your finger or something, I mean, these things take off flesh <laughs> quickly. So wear gloves, wear some sort of eye protection, and let's go. So it's really that easy. Now, if you're not, uh, I just unplugged this. I'm going to take the wheel off and show you. If you're not familiar with a flap, uh, about what a flap wheel is, this is a this is a flap wheel, and it's just overlaying uh, pieces of of abrasive uh, material, and in this case, it's a 60. 60 grit, four and a half inch, 60 grit. Uh, they come in 60, 120, I, maybe 180. Um, but 60 did a good job on this. I don't really need to go over it with a smoother uh, wheel. I mean, it's, it's, of course you can't feel it, but, but uh, it feels pretty smooth to me com compared to, the, to what it was before. And now all I'm going to do is, is wash it out and uh, coat it with oil and stick it in the oven for a couple hours at, uh, at like 350 degrees. And, um, and then over time, like I said, it will, it will get blacker and blacker as you use it. And uh, you never really want to use soap 
on these when you're cleaning them. Just water is going to be enough uh, to clean it. And uh, it will replace your nonstick pans uh, pretty much. I still use, I still use nonstick occasionally, but uh, uh, mainly I do because uh, this was just too big to, like when I, when I saute things, I, I like to, I like to flip the, the food around and, and, and this is just a little, it's just a little too heavy for that. So uh, I, I wanted to get a, another 10 inch. I had one previously and, and I let it go. So, uh, but uh, that's it. Have fun. It, I see a spot that I'm not, I'm not liking. There's a, I kind of gouged it with the, with the wheel right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to work on this, this area. It wouldn't affect the, uh, the pan in any way. It's just aesthetic. And, uh, so I want to get that squared away before I finish this job. Okay, that's much better. There's still some, I mean, you can see that it, that, that I ground, ground it down, but, but uh, it's much nicer, much better now. I actually got carried away and there's a little, I'll show you my, my one flaw. I, I bit into it a little hard right there. But that's not gonna affect anything. Okay, so I just washed it out with soap and water. It's probably the only time this thing's ever gonna see soap. Um, and now I'm gonna treat it with oil before I put it in the oven. And I'm just using vegetable oil. I'm using the convection oven uh, in my microwave to do this. And it's been in there for about 15 minutes. And let's just take a look at it. Yeah, I mean, you're not, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna start seeing it change colors for a while. And that's it. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.